I'm Sheila Brummer with Siouxland Public Media News. The Iowa Supreme Court has reversed a 2018 court ruling that established strong legal protections for abortion under the state constitution. Iowa's highest court also reversed a lower court's decision overturning a 2020 Iowa law. It requires a 24-hour waiting period for those seeking an abortion. It sent the case back to a lower court for reevaluation. The significant state ruling comes as the U.S. Supreme Court is expected to rule in a case this month that could overturn federal constitutional protections for abortion established under Roe v. Wade. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds issued a statement that says, in part, the ruling is a significant victory in the fight to protect the unborn. She went on to say, quote, every life is sacred and should be protected. She added before the ruling, Iowa was the most abortion-friendly state in the country. Abortion providers are bracing for the final days of the U.S. Supreme Court's guarantee of a right to an abortion. In South Dakota, the state's only abortion clinic says it has paused scheduling abortions beyond the end of the month. Iowa's governor ordered all flags in the state to be lowered to half staff tomorrow to honor a Southwest Iowa deputy killed in a crash this week. Fremont County Deputy Austin Melvin Richardson died Tuesday afternoon. His patrol car collided with a farm combine on Highway 275 north of Hamburg. An investigation by the Iowa State Patrol says the combine was wider than the lane's width, and Richardson's vehicle hit a front tire of the combine that was over the center line. The patrol car then rolled several times. An accident report shows Richardson was not wearing a seatbelt. A funeral for Richardson, who was 37 years old, will be held tomorrow morning at the high school in Sydney, Iowa, where he lived. The city of Hornick broke ground on a flood protection project yesterday. The community around 250 people is starting construction on a berm to prevent future flooding. The Woodbury County town was devastated in 2019 when the Little Sioux River overtopped a levee. Former U.S. Representative Steve King says he saw the community pull together in the wake of the disaster to protect their town. It's a well-oiled machine of volunteers here that put out everything uh, to save this town from the flood that, that came in and put the solution in place to prevent it for the next time. The project was made possible through an award of $2.1 million in state flood recovery funds. Local officials expect construction to be completed this fall. And the National Weather Service says the region will experience a multi-day heat wave Saturday afternoon through Monday night. Temperatures will hit 100 or above in some spots, including Sioux City. Record warm lows expected as well. Officials urge people to stay hydrated and take breaks in the shade to avoid heat-related illnesses. Leah Matheson is with the emergency department at Mercy One in Sioux City. Just be aware of how you are feeling or the people around you are feeling that if you're feeling overheated, it's probably a good indication that you need to get out of the heat. Matheson says young children and the elderly are more susceptible to heat-related problems, especially if they do not have access to air conditioning. For Siouxland Public Media News, I'm Sheila Brummer.